Hello everyone! While we live our daily lives and seasons change, only one thing remains the same. Respiratory diseases come to us through the air we breathe that goes directly to our lungs. Allergic diseases and asthma are relevant all year round, but in spring the presence of pollen makes those issues far more severe. When summer comes, the water can contain a lot of bacteria, likely a dangerous legionella, which can evaporate into the air and reach people even through the air conditioner. Autumn and winter are the time of the most common viral and bacterial respiratory diseases like bronchitis, influenza and others. In order to execute research on all types of particles, biological and non-biological, that penetrate the lungs, it would be necessary an equipment that accurately reproduces the respiratory system. Likely such an equipment already exists. It is the Anderson Cascade Impactor six stages for sampling of biological particles or viable and Anderson Cascade Impactor 8 stages non-viable, which is primarily employed for pharmaceutical testings. Let's speak about the last one. Each of the stages has many holes and corresponds to the permeability of the particles based on their size. The largest ones stay at the top, while the smallest get into the alveoli and can create irreversible processes. Stage 0 is the equivalent of pollutants and microparticles not entered in the respiratory system yet. Stage 1 represents the nostrils, nasal passage. Stage 2 reproduces the pharynx. Stage 3 instead follows particles as they go down through trachea and primary bronchi. Stage 4 is therefore the secondary bronchi. Stage 5 is the deeper part of the terminal bronchi. Stage 6 reproduces the alveolar duct, while stage 7 finishes the voyage with the small alveoli. Stage F, named filter stage, where quas or glass fiber filters are placed, serves to capture the smallest particles that might have passed through the preceding stages. The primary purpose of this filter is to prevent tiny particles from reaching the pump. If these particles were to enter the pump, they could potentially cause damage over the time. The impactor can be therefore used in all types of laboratories and research centers and for the testing of all inhalation and nasal drugs products. For all questions regarding the respiratory system simulator, pharmacopoeia and pharmaceutical testing, you can write me directly. Stay safe, enjoy life and breathe deeply.